Sorry. Is it recording? Yep. It's gonna slip, it's gonna slide. Eric just, Eric's dropping me off at the airport. I'm going home to Edmonton for Christmas. While I'm gone, Eric's gonna transform the van for you guys. Unfortunately, I will not be participating, which I'm not that mad about. It's gonna be like a new van, you're not even gonna recognize it. So keep him company. This is gonna be so lonely. Hey everyone, we're Eric and Paula, and we're professional triathletes. 11 months out of the year, we're racing and training full-time around the country and around the world. One month of the year though, we're on off-season, we get a break and we can do whatever we want. This off-season, I'm going to be renovating our Sprinter van and taking it from a rolling garage to something more. Here we go. Alright everybody. Welcome to my parents' house. So you might recognize this spot if you've been a fan of Viking Life since the beginning. Did a lot of RV building, first van build, and uh, yeah, this is this is where the good tools are. First, before we get going on the work, I just want to show off real quick, uh, run you through what we did for version 1.0, and then we'll get started on version 2.0. Whoever had the van before us basically like spilled some oil in it and had to pull up the entire floor. It was a mess underneath there, and put down this new uh, new plywood and new coin grip flooring threw down some fork mounts and that basically gives us capacity for five bikes in here. Biggest thing that I think most people have been interested in that I got the most questions about is the bed here. So the way I hooked the bed onto the wall, I put rib nuts into the wall. You basically get some threads that hook into the wall that you can then thread a screw into. I got these big chunks of angle iron at Home Depot. These bars here are just the center pieces from Ikea beds. And I just have two pieces of plywood setting on top of that. As far as the storage situation goes, we got these things from Thule. We're gonna keep them, we're just gonna move them somewhere else. Cause right here, there's gonna be some sort of a uh, bench type of situation. So, we're going bow hanging fruit first here. Something I've been jonesing for ever since we got the van. Swivel seat. Wheat. On to the next thing. Okay, just in case you haven't watched a bunch of Vanville videos like I have, sticking the insulation to the walls and the roof using this stuff. You can stick an elephant to the ceiling with it. Most of the insulation is in, and the next phase that we're doing is we're taking these bores, we're gonna attach them to the wall, and there's gonna be some insulation, like a second layer that sits between these, and this will also be the thing that we mount the, whatever our walls end up being. That's what we'll mount them to. All right, I think this is where we're gonna finish off for the day. The insulation's totally on the ceiling. My dad's put up a whole bunch of the boards that we're gonna use to mount the ceiling on, and it's really coming together. Super pumped. Tomorrow I just gotta make a trip to Home Depot for a couple extra things, and might be able to have the insulation done tomorrow. All right, trying something new today. Um, don't have a name for this work of art. I think we're calling this uh, the blob with another blob design. Okay, 
probably wondering, Eric, why are you at the gym? It's the off season. I'm just like, trying to stay loose. I've done off season a lot of different ways through the years, but like the years in the past where I've just kind of run once or twice a week and stayed loose and had the foam roller and stuff, gone in the pool, like way less likelihood of getting injured when I start back to training. So that's why I'm at the gym, even though it seems crazy. Oh, one other reason, because I can't get the visual of Pablo and Lionel racing together and having that sprint finish, I can't get that out of my head. Like, I wanted to be there. I wanted to be Pablo. And I gotta be honest, I don't think I would've made it as long as Pablo made it. I need to run faster next year, but I'm fired up. So, doing all the things right this off season. Oh yeah, one last thing before we get back to building. If you guys like these hats, I still have like 15 of them. I'm gonna put them up on the Transition 4 website. I'll leave a link down below. I mean, we're just gonna basically give them away, like $15. If you wanna represent, it'd be freaking awesome. So hit that, hit that link. I think this is where we gotta end things. We were gonna put up this piece of ceiling paneling uh, and then start putting up some of our actual wood boards up there, but then forgot I needed to make a template and cut out the spot for the fan. So it's Christmas Eve, totally out of time. And this is gonna have to wait till I'm back from Canada. I think next time I'll see you guys doing some something up in Canada. Then after that, back to this goodness. Thanks for following along. Sorry Paula wasn't here. If you liked the video, like it. And it uh, means a lot when you guys subscribe, so see you next week. I don't know if anybody's gonna... Do you think people will recognize you from the Overland? Oh, maybe. Maybe? You never know. <laughs> How far are we going? We're doing like 50 miles, partly gravel, partly road, starting in North Plains. Nice work on the route, dude. Some good shit right there. Every time I set the camera up on the ground and hit pause, something bad happens and it ends up being a five minute long video of me messing up. <laughs> something to be said about that. Yeah. Not afraid to hide the mistakes.